It's become an annual pilgrimage from the city to the sticks, a treasure trove of rugby league talent winging their way to the remote Western Riverina town. Kind of hoping the Hayside don't take it too serious. Please. I can't see he's playing 80 minutes. The likes of Meninga, Bradley Clyde, Matt Geyer and Simon Wolford, they've played on the bigger stages and they've given back to the game at the grassroots. Oh, God, blimey. A club that was struggling a decade ago is now thriving with a full complement of boys and girls junior teams and, for the first time, a top division senior team. It's like getting the Australian Test team coming out to play a one-day game of cricket. It's a culmination of five years' hard work and uh, I'm expecting a big crowd. The unsung heroes are many of the Magpies. The All-Stars warmed up, if you can call it that, their first and last pre-match training session. They've yeah, got the game face on now. Um, it's just hit me that I'm um, going to play the first game for the years. A um, bit worried about my team. Preparation hasn't been great. Meet Rugby League immortal Artie Beetson, official coach and motivator. Did he go and see this Dr Greenberg up the cross? Joking aside, the great man was shocked at the fitness of some of his charges. I reckon it's, it, it's indecent that these blokes are so fit. Whatever happened to where you let yourself go like Mark Tookie? And it was Mark Tookie and Meninga who let out the galaxy of former stars. But despite the big names, the locals were off to a flyer, targeting an obvious weakness on Daly's wing. That sparked a group of blokes not used to losing. Meninga was in the thick of it, not bad for 50 odd. Kenny Nagus wound the clock back. And Nagus continued to cement his man of the match honours. The Hay Magpies motto says let's dream big and that dream is now a reality with 1500 fans coming from near and far to rub shoulders with some of rugby league's best ever. It's the city coming out to the bush, I guess you'd say. We don't get to see famous people like this very often. It's like a field of dreams out there with all the legends. It's great. It's like watching Canberra of old. It's really, really cool. It was a buzz for the All-Stars, a lifetime high for the likes of Mitch Rossi, who played with them. Oh, I can't explain it, really. I'll remember it forever. The greats showed glimpses. But the match wasn't without incident. Shane Millard suffered a dislocated elbow. Wolford went for it, charging 80 metres, defying the defence and gravity. Raiders coach David Ferner enjoyed the hit out, his first game in six years. He was one of the first to answer the SOS from a club in strife. That'll be the end of it, boys. In the end, the visitors won 50 to 8, but the score didn't matter. It's a win win situation for everybody here, and um, you know, hopefully, a little bit of money in the bush. And the hay keeps on prospering from it, and you know, good luck to them this year in the, the group 20 comp. Uh, the boys were feeling it there at one stage, but um, no, it was, it was great. It's great that the uh, concept started as a bit of a fly in the sky, you know, it's, it's come, come to fruition, and it's, uh, it's a true story. That's my last ever game of rugby league, I must confess. It's, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Officially, Jody Farthen retired. I'm gone. <laughs>